Lord Ripsalot here, and welcome back to the Knights of the Stone Table, the show where we review the most marvelous glass, slay the most golden of globs, and engulf the most frosty danking twigs throughout the Seven Kingdoms. Today thy lordship is here with thy most noblest of knights of organism as we look at thy glorious showerhead vortex rig from none other than Grass City Headshot themselves. Take us away, noble knight. Now thy lord would like to start off by saying thank you, thank you, thank you magnanimously to Grass City Headshot. Thy lord is beyond grateful and couldn't be more pleased with thy glorious rig. Now thy glorious rig is made of high quality borosilicate glass, stands at about 12 inches tall in height, base is four inches in diameter, with a 14 millimeter female external 90 degree down stem, with a 12 slit shower head percolator. Tis truly one of the smoothest hits Tis as smooth as a Georgia peach on the autumn's evening in the sunshine on a winter's day. I, I'm not sure what I meant by that, but the chug was awesome. And you know, I'm gonna go ahead and further explain the function of this piece. So this piece has very beautiful green accents along the mouthpiece, the bottom, but especially here in the six external cooling tubes. Now we all know that the cooler the smoke, the smoother the hit. So these tubes do a good job of bringing everything in contact as close to the outside air as possible. This collection chamber and bent neck at the top allows you to really rip this piece and not get any water into your mouth because we all know that's not a pleasant experience. Let's take a little in-depth look at this function. I mean, look at the percolation. Look at the water spiraling up those tubes. The bubbling is insane. I mean, it is truly an absolutely beautiful functional piece. This is definitely a must-have. It is truly, truly a beautiful piece. I mean, the function is just phenomenal. As you can see, that noble pup has joined us as well. And the max percolation that this thing produces and the cooling chambers, it's just, you know, it's truly an epic piece. I mean, it is a big boy, not for peasantly lungs. Also, a bonus that I forgot to mention, thy extra thick base could be used as a bludgeoning tool to warn off peasants if they try to steal your danking for eggs. I don't run into many peasants, thy lord, but I'll take that advice. It is true. Good advice, noble ones. Anyway, thy lord would like to thank all of thee for joining us today, and thy lord hopes thee all stay tuned for the next episode of the Knights of the Stone Table. Huzzah! Huzzah!